you guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Walker Ford in Clearwater, Florida. And guess what? I have a super-sized twin turbocharged power-packed SUV that guess what? We haven't seen since last year at the Detroit Auto Show known as Motorbella. This is it. This is a changed up, refreshed, and also new trim known as the Ford Expedition Stealth Performance Package. But before we get into this, like I said, large and in charge kind of SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. The Expedition, it is currently Ford's largest SUV. Now, this is your standard Expedition. When it comes to length, you could actually get a longer version, if you could believe that, known as the Max. Now, once upon a time, there actually was an SUV larger than the Expedition that was known as the Ford Excursion. And believe it or not, it actually sat on the same chassis as the mighty F-250 Super Duty. Well, guess what? This Expedition still bringing massive size, not only to the exterior, but also the interior has some new changes that I want to show you for 2022, but also talk about what the heck is this Stealth Performance Package. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, gloss black, some fancy wheels and red calipers doesn't mean performance. Well, I'm here to tell you that not only are there some aesthetic changes, but also updated horsepower underneath the hood. Now, when we think of performance SUVs, you might think of brands like BMW and their X7. Of course, you could talk about Audi and their RSQ8. Is this really a performance SUV? And does it kind of match and mix full size with performance? Is it the king with doing those two things? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our stealth performance package expedition and find out. Right off the bat, this expedition looks like something that the CIA or the FBI would be driving because coming up behind somebody, they're gonna think you're the cops or somebody undercover. Now, at the front of the business, all expeditions, this one and everyone else that gets one for 2022 will have a changed up front end. On our stealth package, you were right, there's some gloss black. So you're gonna see our updated headlights with grill on the Stealth Performance Pack, you're getting gloss black, both top and bottom. There's our full LED headlights, and I love the way that they shape the LED daytime running lamps. Now, as we drop down, you are getting functional things, two of them. Functional, real deal LED fog lamps in that lower corner, and functional corner air curtains. There's a lot of other vehicles that they call them performance SUVs, where you don't get anything like that. What they do is they just put some fake grills on. So I'm very happy to see the functionality. A little bit of gloss black balances well with the, what's going on up top. And then as we come across the grill area, I'm so glad Ford went all in. So instead of the blue oval, we have the black oval with the Ford script, forward facing camera, cleanly integrated. You can see our new grill for 2022. The gloss bars going all the way across. You have functionality in the center. And then as we work our way down, some flat black. The good news is though, we have more functionality. And on the bottom portion, you are gonna get two massive tow hooks, especially if you are an FBI agent and you need to yank that vehicle right out of the hands of a thief. You could use those tow hooks down there. But really nice, broad and wide. And I'm liking the updates. I think they did a smart change with the updates, especially on this Stealth Performance Pack. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you do have the Expedition name in gloss black. It looks good. I just wish they would kind of sink the letters down into the hood so that it wouldn't be something that you could accidentally have come off if something aggressive rubs against the Expedition name. But I've always been a fan of the hood. Very simple, very broad, very muscular without going too over the top. As we come around the bend, like I was pointing out earlier, we do have some fancy wheels, and these are some super fancy wheels, 22 inch wheels. So you're gonna have the machine aluminum edge all the way around, gloss black spokes, and then you got the red calipers. Now, the calipers do have a little bit more aggressive pad, and of course, you're gonna get those rotors that are nice and large to help slow this big beast down. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, 
What is the size of this tire? You're looking at 285 on the width, 45 series sidewall, and Ford went ahead and reworked the suspension and the chassis. I think one of my favorite things is that there's no flat black whatsoever around the fender openings. Now, on the side of the vehicle, we do have gloss black mirror caps to match the front. I don't know why they kept the shiny bright metalwork. This should be a dark chrome finish. Even gloss black, I think, would work better than the shiny chrome. Let me know what you think about it. If this is a stealth package, shouldn't you be going all in? What I do think is killer is you have the electric dropping running boards. And if you notice, along the edge, they did put the gloss black. So when they meet the body, it all looks nice in unison. You do get these massive raised roof rails with crossbars. If you need to put the gear for your FBI team up there, everything could be loaded and you got plenty of room on the inside. Now, as we work our way back, you are getting color matched door handles. From the side, nothing really has changed besides the 22 inch wheels and the gloss black touchments. And then as we come around the back side of things, what do we got? You got a short stubby roof spoiler. I wish they would have done something with this, but the good news is you could actually open up the glass, which gives it a nice touch. And they went ahead, did the black oval on the back, expedition across the back as well. Limited, this is a limited trim with that stealth goodiness kind of mixed in. And then going all the way down, just kept it simple. Gloss black, obviously you could pull this cover off for the towing, and guess what? We got better towing for 2022 than the previous model year. Exhausts are both on one side, kind of tucked out of the way. It would have been nice, I think, to have some tasteful exhaust finishes. I think that would have been spot on the money, but why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this Stealth Performance Pack Expedition. All right, guys, we got the massive hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. Now, comparing this to say something like a Suburban RST, Obviously, that would be very comparable. The main difference, though, is what is underneath the hood. With a Suburban, you got that big V8. What do we have? We have that EcoBoost motor. It's still that 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6. But like I promised, we have more horsepower for 2022 on the Stealth Performance Pack. 440 horsepower, 510 pound-feet of torque, made it to the 10 speed automatic zero to 60 in this 5300 pound beast is in 5.8 seconds mpgs 17 in the city 22 on the highway and guess what you could tow more what is the magic number 9300 pounds that's 300 pounds more than last year and then of course like i said you're getting all the goodies not only to the outside with the Stealth Performance Pack, but also underneath the hood. Comparing this to say the 6.2 liter Chevy V8 in the Suburban, that pumps out 420 horsepower. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this beast and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the Stealth Performance Package. I think next year, Ford should come out with the Knight Rider Package. Ooh, put it, make it all black, have the red light, just like Kit had. Maybe put some Firebird Trans Am style wheels that they had back in the early 80s on it, but 22 inch, now we're talking. David Hasselhoff will make a comeback if he would come back from Germany and stop singing over there. But anyways, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, this is one bad mamma jamma of a full-size SUV. I never knew you could use stealth and expedition in the same sentence because of how ginormous it is. But I'm liking it. And I was looking at a Suburban. I've been looking at some of the German Euro stuff, but nothing that they make is as big as this beast. How much is it, though? So MSRP, the way that you see this one, is around $81,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, I do like the red stitching. 
It's interesting how a little bit of red stitching goes a long way. I would have liked to have seen just a little bit more specialness for this Stealth Edition package, but you do have the soft armrest, and there's no gloss black anywhere, which is great. You got the B&O sound system, and then this really, if you're an FBI agent and you're doing a stakeout, this is really the perfect vehicle because of all the storage space. You could fit a, tw fit a 12 inch po' boy, shrimp po' boy sandwich in that door pocket and not only one, but two cups of black coffee to keep you up during the wee hours of the night. Going from the door panel to the dash, look, they did the stitching, they listened to me. A lot of times they stop the red stitching, they just throw it on the door panels. Red stitching, top and bottom. I'm also liking this sort of like satin flat black finish that they made. Nice textured design, looks really sleek and stealthy. You do have a 12 volt. Don't stick your po' boy in there, that's gonna hurt. And then taken, like plucked right from the Mach-E is that 15 inch infotainment system. Let me know what you think, because this is all new for 2022. Besides the updates outside, this is one of the big updates to the interior. Let me know what you think. Have they integrated it nicely? I think they did a better job than in the Mach-E. I'm just not really in love with a vertical infotainment, but you do have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. This is the Sync 4 system, navigation of course. And one thing I've always liked about Ford systems with the Sync setup is that they're easy to use, very intuitive. You can make the map larger, smaller. How about seats? Easy to get to your ventilated and heated seats, heated steering wheel, your AC controls, and then I like the way there's an actual knob for the volume of that B&O sound system. You go ahead and you can get all your different icons here. Not a ton, would be nice to fill this up, but I'm sure you could download God knows what onto this uh, system here. And then you could go into your other things, like for example, valet mode. Let's say you got some top secret FBI information on the infotainment system. You could enter in a four digit code. I won't tell anybody what your code is and keep prying eyes out of your infotainment system. You could then of course, do the cameras on a stakeout. Think about it. You don't need to bring a bunch of binoculars with you. You could use the system that's built into this expedition out the front, all the way around, panoramic. Say you're pulling a trailer, you're 360. And speaking of trailers, like I said, you got 9,300 pounds worth of towing. And what I like is, is that they got the connection checklist. This way, if you're in a rush to get to the stakeout, and you're busy you know, getting your other supplies, you won't forget to do this. And I like the way it walks you through. It actually has pictures. So if you're the type of person that doesn't like to read, but you like to look at pictures, there you go. And then you just hit next. Ooh, look at that, that's a picture. I like that. And then you go back, right back to where you started, and then boom, here we are within the same settings. And then we can get out of that, and I can pull the navigation back up. One, two, three. Working our way down, there's more of that satin flat black finish. Open up door number one, open sesame. Let me get the key fob out of here. You got wireless charging. There's your key fob. And look at that, they actually put a darker Ford badge on there. Flip it around, you got your remote start and everything in case you need to make a quick getaway to chase the crooks. Let's say you're trying to be healthy. You got a banana holder on the side, actually two bananas can fit on the side. And just so you know, the average size banana is two servings of fruit. So if you're trying to watch your sugar consumption, just take that into consideration because remember, fruit, there's a reason why they call it nature's candy. It's got sugar in it, natural sugar. More of that satin black finish. Open up door number two, Alakazam. Two more cup holders besides the ones in the doors. Then you're gonna have your rotary dial plucked right from a Shelby GT500. That's gonna go through the 10-speed automatic. You got your different drive modes. Of course, the way to get into your four by four system, nice, soft, the stitching. Open this bag boy up and guess what? This is perfect for a sizzling hot plate of fajitas. Get one to go or do like a DoorDash from Chili's. You could actually put the plate in here, then you could put all the fixings like, uh, you know, the lettuce, the peppers, the chopped up tomato, maybe some guac and keep the rest in there and think about the steak out. That, and you could get steak fajitas. See what I did there? Steak out, steak fajitas, lots of room. And then the seats, they did it. Red stitching all the way around, both 
uh, passenger and driver have electric assist on the seats. And of course, for when you're bird watching, we do have a panoramic sunroof. So if you're bored watching the crooks and you want to do a little bird watching, you could open up the sunroof. We got the panoramic roof and everything else works great with this, with the shade and everything. One, two, three. Look at how easy that is to close. And then we could just go and open up the shade even more for everybody in the back. Very nicely done. Lori's telling me to wrap up this whole thing, but why don't you go ahead, get your butt over here. I want to show you behind the wheel of this updated expedition. All right, guys, behind the business end. Now, what's great is if you're sharing this with other agents, you have three settings, three memory settings for the driver's seat. Plus, you have the power adjustable pedals. So if you have somebody that's in your on your team, uh, your unit, maybe they're a little shorter in stature, they can move not only the seat but the pedals. Room, though, I'm six feet tall. Got plenty of room in this large and in-charge SUV steering wheel. I like the outside of the wheel, the red stitching. The one thing I hate, and I'm going to zonk, and normally I don't say hate very often in my reviews, do something with the horn button. Please, Ford. I like the way you did the black oval like outside, but give me some red stitching. Do something with it. I do like the dark gray metallic and this other finish inside the uh, center spoke here. You got flat black on the buttons. No paddles, but you do have, of course, your power assist for the tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then guess what? You got that massive 12.3 inch digital gauge display. Now, right now in the center, I have that pitch and roll, that off-road display, but I could actually change that. Look at this. I could go to power distribution. I can go, how about engine information? Look at that. It's like playing Gran Turismo. And then on top of that, we got the different modes. Normal, eco, look at that. It changes green. It's like it rubbed up against a bush and, and it became green. Well, some people could think about that a different kind of way, rubbing up against a bush. But anyways, you do have sport. Look at the way the headlights come on. Blam, blast them in your face. Toe with a three axle trailer, mud and ruts. And then of course, sand. Look at the sand coming off that. And then slippery when wet. I just wish that door would open and Bon Jovi would come out singing, living on a prayer on the screen. Now we would be talking about technology. Well, why don't we go ahead? This is just the beginning. Let's check out, check out the mid row and then the third row in this Expedition Stealth Performance Package. All right, guys, mid row time. And this has got plenty of room for the other agents and really going to allow them to be comfortable. And I'll show you why. First of all, the seats, just like up front, you got the red stitching. Ford does it right with their armrest for the captain's chairs. Look how wide that is. That's going to be nice and comfortable no matter who sits here. Plus, you could just flip it right out of the way. Backs of the seats have the leather all the way around. Super sized pockets. Keep your handcuffs. Maybe keep a couple donuts or something down in there for when you're snacking. We got more spots for coffee with two cup holders. Expedition, rear AC, and guess what? They're gonna you're gonna be able to stay connected. USB C, USB A, and a home power source, plus a 12 volt and a Twinkie tray down there for the really long stakeouts. AC vents are in the ceiling. I actually am happy where they're located. I'd rather them not be here. And obviously with the panoramic sunroof, they can't be there, but it, it makes you, it allows you to angle it a little bit better. I just would like another set in the frame as well. So we will zonk that, but the seats do slide. And of course, when you need to get a quick nap, if it's your turn to take a nap, you can recline them a little bit and just take a little nap. But why don't we go ahead we got a couple more agents and we got to figure out where to put them. Let's check out the third row and see if they're going to be happy sitting back there on our next stakeout in the expedition. All right, guys, third row time. And in something this large, you're bound to have plenty of room in the third row. Now, comparing all this to the Suburban, obviously this expedition has way more tech for 2022, especially with that infotainment system. I do feel that in the Suburban, you have a little bit better leg room. And what I mean by that is not so much leg room knee to the back of the second row. I'm talking about your knees are just a little bit lower, just a tad lower. That means the floor is just a tad lower. But I noticed that in the third row, you do get those pesky AC vents that are in the headliner. I'd rather have them over here. So we are going to zonk that because pretty much this is what you do with them. You kind of direct it right towards your face and that's it. So 
I wish they were on the side. What I do really like is that you have a little bit of a power recline back here, which makes it that much more comfortable. You got USB A's on both sides, and I hope you're ready for a little bit of Fiesta because you got some spots in these armrest areas for some guacamole, some pico de gallo, maybe even some uh, French onion dip, and of course, the required chips that are needed to scoop up those things of delicious goodness. But Ford did it right. They did red stitching all the way in the back. Feels pretty good back here. Let's go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see how this compares to the suburban. All right, guys, time to get into the cargo area. Now, what's awesome is what you could do is actually gain access through the rear glass. So you hit the button right under I in Expedition, and there you're able to lift up the rear glass. You could get that quick thing and then get back to the party, get back to the fun at the beach, close it up. Of course, to open up the back, it's not up here. You want to look like you know what you're doing. It's down here. You hit that button. Nice electric assist. I'm glad it doesn't make some annoying chime or anything like that. And then what are we greeted to? We're greeted to, first of all, we got the cargo net installed. Just want to show what that looks like, where you go to the grocery store, you can put your bottles, you can put your cantaloupes, your honeydew, your watermelon, and it's not going to roll around and fall out. Very easy to just take it down. And then what you do is, is you just take the hooks and pop them in. Now, what we have here is we have 21 cubic feet of space. I'm actually going to remove the whole thing. There it goes. Look how easy that was. Voila! 21 cubic feet of space. You do have a little bit of Twinkie storage underneath here. Probably two boxes. If you put one horizontal, one vertical, you can get two boxes of Twinkies in there. Close it up. You do have little cubbies, which are nice for that bag of chips that you're hiding from everybody while you're at the beach. And then to put the seats down, they actually have some nice easy to get to buttons. And what's great is they're one touch. So boom, boom, there are the seats going down. They fold down the headrests, nice and smooth, all the way down, go to sleep, go to sleep, all the way down, nice and flat. Now, if you wanna maximize your space, you could fold down that mid row. That is gonna give you 101 cubic feet of space. One thing I wanna showcase while we're here is you do get USB A's on both sides for the third row passengers. You got a nice little nacho tray, put some cheese, maybe a couple uh, box, ju you know, juice boxes of Hawaiian punch or Kool-Aid, and you could have that on both sides for the people that are sucking it up in the back. But you know what? They say there's more horsepower. That's what the numbers say. Let's go ahead in our 2022 Expedition Stealth package, performance package, and see if it's true with a little bit of on throttle action. Let's go. Through. All right, guys, we're in this 2022 Ford Expedition Stealth Performance Package. Like I was saying, we have more horsepower, but if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. 10 speed drops down, and we are off and running. Now, I do have it in sport mode, and what I love about the different modes is not only aesthetically do they make the dash that 12.3 inch digital display look different, but also each of the modes is going to deliver a little bit different driving experience. And that's important because there's a lot of brands that when they have their different modes, it's like you switch modes and it's like the same the same driving experience. You're like, what what what's going on there? So that's one of the things is with this vehicle is that each mode has a distinct kind of flavor to it. Now, if you haven't driven an Expedition or an SUV this size, especially when we're talking about the Suburban or even a Tahoe, these vehicles, it's crazy how easy they are to drive. I like the way you could see that nice broad hood, gives you great visual reference points. Getting to that massive surfboard style infotainment system is obviously well in, within reach. And with the wireless Apple CarPlay and the wireless Android Auto, that even makes it that much better. Right, guys, get it out onto the highway. Just like before, these expeditions, it's like riding on a pillow. Very comfortable. The seats are supportive, especially if you have longer legs like myself on the front seats. That lower cushion really kind of nestles nicely against your hamstrings. And that's really going to help on those longer drives. Side mirrors are great, and they don't look like billboards. 
You know, it would have been easy just to put a regular rectangle mirror on both sides, but I kind of like the way they shaped it, especially with the gloss black. You got the Ford 360 Safety Protection 360 uh, with your blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, emergency brake assist, all those goodies that are gonna keep you and your family safe. And then, like I said, you're getting a nice appearance package, but also the extra horsepower underneath the hood for 2022, which it would have been nice just to call it even Stevens and give you the 450 horsepower that the Raptor has. I don't know why they did 440, because it is the same engine as the Raptor, Ford Raptor, but uh, hey, it's, a, it's more horsepower, and a lot of times more horsepower is not necessarily a bad thing, even if it's still not as much horsepower as a Raptor. But why don't we go ahead, let's go on throttle and see how this thing handles. On throttle, here we go, drops down. Look at this, with those 22 inch wheels, remember they did the re-engineering of the chassis and the suspension, this thing gets down to business. Right now, we're in four automatic. So that means we have power going to all four corners and the ECU is gonna determine how much torque to send front to rear. Obviously this is a rear wheel drive chassis. There's no front wheel drive expedition, which gives you a great platform to engineer to be rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, or like many people say, four wheel drive. But I'm telling you, what's gonna surprise you is not just the acceleration, but how this 5,300 pound beast handles. Really nicely done. You're not getting a ton of body roll as you would expect. Now this isn't a corner carver that you're gonna to wanna to go down the dragon with and go through 318 turns in 11 miles. But if you want something that's gonna haul the whole family the whole hockey team, or just a bunch of your friends, this will do it. Feedback to the steering wheel is nicely done. I think Ford has done a great job, especially through their other programs with the GT500, the Ford GT, taking that electric power steering and really being able to fine tune it to, tune it to give you proper feedback. And I think that's another reason why this large SUV is easier to drive is because of the feedback. Also, information. You got all the important readouts of gauges, including oil pressure, oil temp, coolant temp, of course. So you're gonna have all the readouts that you need and even stuff for pitch and roll, which is nice. Even though this one is not intended for off-road duty as, say, a Timberline, it's still gonna get the job done. But one more time, on those brakes, look at this. Very light, not death gripping the steering wheel. Very light feel on the steering wheel drift it out and then bring it back down and here we go it's 10 speed shifts like a hot knife through butter and i really don't mind the sound that's in the cabin doesn't sound like a v8 of course because there is no v8 with this expedition but it actually has a nice sound coming into the cabin and i like i said the sport mode does a good job of going with that communication between the engine and the 10 speed automatic but hopefully this gave you a nice overall overall feel and view of the 2022 expedition stealth performance package we talked about the changes we now talked about how does it drive we're going to get back to walker ford and wrap this one up so i'll see you in a split that second been one heck of a day here at walker ford with this big beast known as the expedition stealth performance pack definitely got to thank Frank Walker, Weston Walker, Tracy, and Austin, so accommodating, everybody else so accommodating to get us their very first 2022 expedition that's specced out like this. Let me know what you think. Is this the king of full-size SUVs? Is it really a performance SUV? And is it the one that you would get over, say, a Suburban RST? Put it in the comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We gotta give it up to the queen behind the lens. She's working that camera like a champ. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.